I will show you one uh, example like here I have created uh, one example on session B so basically I am running one query which is select and we are trying to uh, show the RRN value of the physical file so this is RRN function and I am passing my file name so my file name is emppf and with that I am uh, also displaying the em employee ID and employee name from emppf file okay so what it will do it will show the RRN value of each record okay so this is not a field that we have uh, stored in physical file but it is a uh, system generated value uh, which will show the RRN value for each and every record that we are having in our physical file so let's hit enter on this query so yeah this is the RRN value which is assigned to these record it is not true that both values are always same because this is something that we have stored and this is something that system has generated okay so for every record system generates some value which is uh, rn value okay and it might be possible like uh, here we store some value like 10 20 30 40 50 but still the rn value will will be the same okay but suppose now if i delete this record from my file and if i try again if i again try to insert some new data in this then it will not assign the same RRN value which is 5 why because whenever we are deleting something it still uh, holds the value RRN values for that record it doesn't clear that it reserves that RRN value and whenever we are inserting new record then it will assign the uh, next RRN value to that not 5 but it will assign 6 so let's see it practically so I'm hitting one query here which is delete from my file name is emppf where emp id is 5 so let's we delete the employee id 5 so it is deleted now okay and let's check the data again now we have only four records and rn is assigned till 1 to 4 now we will try to insert some data again so for that i am using one query upd dta so I'm hitting this command now take a four put your file name which is emppf your library name for my case my library shermit one hit enter now press f10 because we want to insert data now again we will insert the fifth record which is abc5 okay so now it is inserted so let's go back to the query screen and run the same query again so here you can easily identify that this time RRN is assi the assigned RRN is 6 not 5 why because fifth RRN value record we have deleted and it still holds that RRN value and allot a new RRN value to the newly added record okay for now we have only five records but suppose it it contains thousands of records and at that time we are not sure like <coughs> which which record has been deleted from the file and what rn sequence is going through the file so in that case what we can do we can reorganize these rn value with the help of one command so let's see uh, what is the command and how we can use it so for that i'm going to my session a and here you have you have to hit the command r z z p f m which is the reorganize physical file member now take f4 put your file name so my file name is emppf library name my library name is shermit1 and hit enter so it shows data in member emppf reorganized and if i hit the query again so this time it again assign the rn value in sequential order one two three four five okay so now the reserved rn value is cleared and it reorganize the rn value in the physical file so this is the command which is very important for reorganizing the physical file member data here you can pass for like if you want to reorganize for a particular member then you can pass it here and there are other fields uh, also that as per your requirement you can fill it out but mainly we use this command for reorganizing the physical file member okay rn values so 
this is very useful like whenever suppose uh, you want to re sequentialize your RRN value and let's say if there, is, there are five or four records that we have deleted but still it is assigning the incremented RRN value not the reserved value so just to reorganize the RRN value we can utilize this command which is rzz pfm which is reorganizing physical file member okay so yeah that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will learn few more things so thank you for watching tech share method